Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today I'm doing a quick video on what these letters mean that are in the parentheses in the middle of your chemical reactions and chemical equations. So you can see what I'm referring to, the S, the G. We have this one that looks like, hmm, is it an I, is it an L? Everybody always asks me that. It's actually a lowercase L. And then we have this AQ, super interesting. So let me show you what they mean. The first three are gonna be states of matter. So S stands for a solid, L for a liquid, and G for a gas. Those ones are super easy. Now the AQ is the one that usually tricks people, and that just stands for an aqueous solution. So remember that an aqueous solution is when you take a solid and you dissolve it into a liquid and it does become an aqueous solution. So let's go back to our example and see what that's really telling us in our chemical reactions. So here we have zinc and it's saying, hey, this zinc is a solid and we're gonna combine it with O2, which is a gas. So when we put this solid and this gas together, we are going to yield or produce zinc oxide and that is going to end up being a solid. <clears throat> now you can understand it a little bit better, right? If you look at the next one, we have potassium, which is a solid. We're combining that with a liquid water. And when you combine those two together, you're gonna produce or yield potassium hydroxide, which is an aqueous solution. Remember what that means. We took a solid potassium and we dissolved it in the liquid and it created an aqueous solution. Now, in addition to that, it's also producing H2, which is hydrogen gas. So what you're gonna see is you're gonna see inside your aqueous solution that's probably producing bubbles and inside those bubbles are gonna be your hydrogen gas that's being released. I hope this is helpful to understanding your chemical reactions a little bit more and maybe making stoichiometry a little bit less confusing. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye everybody.